Introduction Sham and Ram are at their uncle's farmhouse. They are playing around the trees. They are happy to see ripe guavas on the tree. Uncle, can we have some guava to eat? <laughs> sure, I will get guava for both of you. It is so delicious, uncle. Look at that bird. Even the bird is enjoying ripe guavas. Yes, you know that animals get so many things from plants like fruits, shade, oxygen, etc. But do you know that animals also give many essential things to plants? Really? Uncle, please tell us more about it. Okay, let's know more about the interdependence of living things. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain the interdependence of plants and animals on each other. List the dependence factors between plants and animals. Explain the importance of forests. Discuss the adverse effects of destruction of forests. Discuss about forest and wildlife protection. Do plants depend on animals? Animals get food, oxygen and shelter from plants. Do they give anything to plants in return? Yes, plants need carbon dioxide to produce their food. When animals breathe out, they release oxygen and help the plants in making their food by process of photosynthesis. Plants depend largely on animals to produce their seeds via seed dispersal. Do you know how? Let us see this. Many insects, bees and butterflies carry the pollen grains in lower part of legs when they sit to suck nectar from flowers and move from flowers to flowers, they spread the pollens carried by their legs. This is how they spread the plant seeds. The brightly colored sweet tasting pulp of fruits attracts the birds and animals. Birds and animals eat the fruit and help in spreading the seeds. This way, the animals help plants to survive and flourish. Forest and forest communities Have you seen these people? These are tribals. The tribal people collect tree leaves and fruits. The tribals earn their livelihood from the forest products like gums, vegetative plants, medical plants and honey. They get food as well as medicines from the different types of plants found in the forest. Tribals worship trees like banyan and people. This respect for the trees helps in their preservation. Importance of Forest Sham is overwhelmed to see the greenery of forest. Forests have lot of contribution to our life. Let us have a look at a few of them. Air Forest purifies the air by releasing oxygen. Medicine Many forest plants are the source of medicine. All the parts like roots, barks and leaves have medicinal value. Water Forests improve water quality by slowing and filtering rainwater. They also protect the watersheds. Wood We get timber from forests to build furniture, ships and houses. Food product We get many varieties of fruits and honey from the forest. Shade By cooling the air and ground around them, the shade from the forest trees help to cool earth's temperature. Cooling Forests 
help in absorption of solar heat during evaporation and transpiration. Carbon Dioxide Level They help to maintain the carbon dioxide level and hence give a boost to plant growth. Local Climate They help in maintaining the local climate and hence help fight climate change. Self-assessment Drag and drop the image to correct statement. Destruction of forest When Shyam, Ram and their uncle reached the other end of forest, they saw some people were cutting the trees. Why are you cutting these trees? We have to grow paddy in this land. Uncle told Shyam and Ram that due to growing population and increased demand of grains, the forests are being transformed into cultivation land. Most deforestation is due to conservation of forests into agricultural land. Countless cutting of trees due to logging operations lead to more destruction. The most severe impact of deforestation is the loss of habitats for millions of species. Deforestation also causes climate change because trees absorb the greenhouse gases. It leads to global warming. We can't survive without trees and that we have to understand. Protecting Forest We need to protect forest. The first and foremost step to protect the forests is to stop cutting trees in large numbers in order to develop agricultural lands or for living. It is also necessary to stop killing or in other words poaching of wildlife animals for their skins and horns or teeth. Government laws against the killing of animals should be strictly implemented. The protected forest area is called wildlife sanctuaries. Project Tiger Suddenly Ram saw a board written Save the Tiger. He asks his uncle that why Save the Tiger is written on this board. His uncle replied him that man from the very beginning has been involved in poaching to satisfy his greed for animal skin, bones and claws. He did not care for its effect on the diversity of the world. As a result, we have already made some species fade away from earth forever. Indian tiger is also one of them. Government of India has taken the initiative to save the tigers. This is called the Project Tiger. In this project, government takes care of the forests where tigers live. These forests are called tiger reserves. Killing tigers and cutting trees in these forests is a punishable act. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Plants give food, shelter, and oxygen to animals. Animals help plant by providing carbon dioxide that plants need to make food. Birds and animals help plants in dispersal of seeds. Tribals earn their livelihood from the forest products like gums, vegetable plants, medical plants, and honey. Roots, barks, and leaves of many forest plants are the source of medicine. We get timber from forests to build furniture, ships and houses. We get many varieties of fruits and honey from the forest. Forests help in absorption of solar heat. We can protect forests by stop cutting trees in large numbers in order to develop agricultural lands or for living. Killing or poaching of wildlife animals for their skins and horns or teeth. In Project Tiger, government 
takes care of the forests where tigers live.